So I've been playing a ton of FM since I'm back from holiday, and I think I've accidentally made one of the best free at the back systems I've ever put on the channel. Went over 40 games unbeaten with it. It's an absolute joy. If you do enjoy the tactics so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and please keep the comments coming on any future suggestions you want to see. The list is getting sort of empty now, so I need some more ideas. Be sure to fill them up with retro tactics, current tactics, formations, managers, whatever you want to see. Keep the comments coming. You can also check out my rebuild channel in the description below. Let's get into it. So first up is going to be PSG, obviously over in the French League. This was going to be one of the holiday tests I've done, and we enjoyed a fantastic season, winning 32 games, only drawing one, and obviously losing one game there against the likes of Monaco. So a very strong team in division regardless, but still 32 wins, incredible stuff. The Champions League, we not only win, but we absolutely demolish, winning in 4-0 fashion over Barcelona. The French Cup, we're also going to take home against Lorient in a 2-0 win, obviously a very comfortable final, and also the Trophy de Champion. We win against Toulouse in a 4-1 win. Absolute dominance. That is going to be a quadruple winner season, to be exact. The French League will dominate most goals being scored. Every player, one second and third coming in with the average rating. Second and third with the most assists, the most clean sheets, and of course, third place when it comes to the most player of the matches, which is going to be our left back. So really good stuff to see right there. Of course, going over to the date hub, it is going to be 3.47 goals per game, only 0.47 conceded, over 21.88 shots every single game, an 87% pass completion, and a tackle win ratio coming in of 75.22. A really good display from this team, that has to be said. And if we go over to the schedule, we can actually see from this loss here, if we look upwards of it all of these games right here it tallies to i believe i've not miscounted if you want to count feel free i believe it's 42 if not 41 games so over 40 games without losing a single game and then that monaco defeat obviously did come in but overall a very very good debut season with psg to the next team let's watch some highlights first actually with psg this champions league final was super comfortable against barcelona we won 4-0 obviously as we did see they go down to 10 men as well just inside the second half after a great opening goal there 60 minutes played now killing mbappe down the left hand side wins it back and goes alone past the stegen into the bottom right hand corner an absolute goal of what i'd love to call it pure quality that's all i can call it yagate now goes through back into mbappe and this man does not slow down at all he keeps on going on the biggest stage possible it's Complete the hat-trick, he takes it one trophy. Now, this is actually where the tactic was made. It was with Chelsea. For some reason, I got a bit of a bug to play a save of them, so I started up one. I played around 23 of the games in terms of the Premier League, then I did simulate the rest, but we still had a very good season, winning the Premier League, runners-up in the FA Cup against Tottenham, bloody Tottenham of all teams, 4-4, and then obviously they win on penalties. And the Carabao Cup, we also do win against City in 2-1 fashion. So quite a good season, in my opinion, with Chelsea. I did sign zero players, as I usually do in my rebuilds anyway. And I'm not going to complain at all. A very, very strong season. The Premier League, we can see Sterling, the top goal scorer. Cole Palmer in third place. Rhys James and Nkunku in first and second, with the highest average rating. Rhys James with the most assists as well, and also finishing third with the most player of the matches. Stats-wise, of course, we are going to have a little look. Most points per game at 2.29. Most goals at 112. The most shots at 714. Fewest conceded at 30. Doing everything to a really, really high level. And of course, the Data Hub is going to help back this up as well. 2.95 goals a game, 0.79 conceded. So scoring way over what you're going to be conceding every single game. A good amount of shots every single match at over 18.5. A great pass completion. And not a bad tackle win ratio either. So a lot going for this tactic, even for a team like Chelsea, who are quite hot and cold in FM. So we've got to take it. And we had our way with some of the best teams in the Premier League. This is a game against United at home in a 5-1 win. We've got the goals going from Cole Palmer just inside of six minutes there, which is absolutely remarkable. Then it gets all the way to the 65th minute. Enzo into Nkunku, over the top into Sterling, the league's top goal scorer. And how about that for a finish into the top right corner? We absolutely love to see it. United do get some play going here. Martinez into Mainu the best centre mid in the world, over the top, into Rashford, into the right-hand corner. To be fair, it's a very good quality goal, but from this point onwards, they simply collapse. We go and score another three. Sterling just runs at the back line and completely almost goes alone, and Kunku gets a tap-in for a very simple goal, and it was just goal after goal. Thiago Silva now drives out from the back into Enzo, into Rhys James, back across into Sterling to make it 4-1, and just as you thought the game was done, well, time for one more goal. 97th minute into Badashil, into Shabala, a 5-1 win. So, of course, for our 
really said any tactic. I have to make sure it works with the smaller teams as well. I don't know what teams you guys are playing with, whether they're powerhouses, top six teams, or real low down teams. So we go over to the Surrey B, as you can see, with a team called Tanada. We only lose two games. The team predicted to finish in 17th place. So this shows how good this even works with a really small team in the Italian Serie B as an example. The Italian Cup, we were never going to beat Lazio. Let's be somewhat realistic. Going over to the league, though, second most goals being scored, second and first when it comes to the average rating. That is something we do love to see indeed. When it comes to the assists, we're going to have first and second also going in our favour right there. And to the team stats, we are going to feature in a lot of them. The most clean sheets, we're going to be joint first and conceded with Palmer. Fewer shots against, the most shots, the most points and the most goals at 103. Really putting on a great display with this team, which, you know, I wasn't expecting to actually win the league. Maybe a top four finish, but to win the league quite comfortably, we've got to take it. Data hub wise, first time looking, as you can see, 2.71, the least amount of goals being scored, probably with the weakest team. It should make sense as it does. Only 0.74 conceded, which is still a very good stat line. Over 17 shots a game, a great pass completion and a tidy tackle win ratio. To take a team predicted all the way down there and put them right at the top. It's absolutely incredible. And even with a team like this, guys, you still had games where you are winning 4-0. It still can do it. It really can. As you can see, great link-up play there to put us 1-0 up just over 12 minutes into the game. 16 minutes in, we're going to do exactly the same. Great give and go there down the right-hand side. Loads of space to drive into. Cuts inside in the middle and an even better finish. We love to see that being done by the team actually in action. Carboni now gives a little one-two from the set piece. Drives inside. He's going to go alone and tuck it away. A great finish there from Amma. An absolute incredible player. We love to be seeing that playing it back into the midfield now ball over the top little touchdown little finish as well you can't go wrong it's a comfortable win yes it does work on mobile as well for anyone wondering yes we are a powerhouse on mobile the free back is definitely not like a 4-2-3-1 for example on the mobile definitely not a favoured formation but it is a lot of fun to switch up how you play we also do in the trophy the champion against Toulouse in 3-0 fashion and the French Cup as well against Lorient in 2-1 fashion making it the French treble knocked out in the semis of the Champions League unfortunately but still a very 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 good season. Yeah, it works on console as well, as you can see. Firstly, with Galatasaray, the Turkish Super Cup, I believe against Fenerbahce, it was 2-1 fashion. We're going to take that and also winning the Turkish Super League, not only quite convincingly in terms of points, but also only losing four games. So, not far off an invincible season, in my opinion. Who did we lose to? We lost to Fenerbahce, Besiktas, Fenerbahce. I mean, the top teams. What was that scoreline there? I thought I said 12 mil then. 2-1. I was going to say a little bit worrying. Akadi with 33 goals. We've got Cone coming in with 7.39 with the highest average rating. Data hub wise, it is going to be the likes of 2.32 goals every single game, 0.95 conceded, over 16.6 shots every single game, an 89% pass completion, an attack win ratio of 78.07. So for the console heads out there, go and get it over on the Patreon because you got to cook. So now, of course, guys, if it's your favourite part of the video, that is going to be the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying yourselves, a like would be appreciated. It helps out the video a lot. And do consider subscribing as well if you do enjoy the tactics. Again, thank you to over the 3,000 people that are in the Patreon. I believe we are the biggest tactic Patreon now in Football Manager. Absolutely mental scenes. To be fair, though, you guys got over 13 perks. So definitely come on over and check it out in the description. You get access to these all three of these tactics. You get the console tactic, the mobile tactic. You get the tactics early. You get priority in the rebuild requests. You also get the rebuild files. You get priority in the tactic requests. You get giveaways, one on one tactical help. There's endless stuff going on, boys. Be sure to come and check it out in the description. But today we're going to hear to talk about the 3421 Masterclass. As I said, I actually made this somewhat accidentally, to be honest, because I literally was just playing my save, doing my thing, and we started absolutely cooking. So the Super Keeper is going to be on support, simply on the default instruction. A ball playing defender on the right, on defend, on draw more, and tackle harder. And that's going to be exactly the same for the left centre back as well. In the middle, we're going to go for covering option. Works really well in the back three. Have a player a little bit deeper to obviously sweep up behind. He is simply going to be a ball playing defender on cover on the default instruction. A wing back on the right on automatic on cross more often. Get, um, get further forwards, run wide and also tackle harder. That's going to be exactly the same for the left back as well. Now in the midfield, I did try on a load of different roles. But for a default tactic, one you're going to take into your games, two DMs are required in my opinion both on Tackle Harder and Mark Titer. I didn't really want to faff about with the instructions getting further forwards because I just want two DMs to do their job. Defend, defend, defend. Because we've got quite an attack in front too and then a striker. So the two is going to be two shadow strikers, both on attack, both on the from position. Very good roles in this system. In my opinion, yes, you do need shadow strikers instead of advanced playmakers because they work really, really well. And lastly, it's going to be that advanced sword on attack simply on Tackle Harder. 
to the team instructions. All based off a custom Tiki Taka. That is going to be a custom Tiki Taka on the attacking, the attacking mentality. We are going to go leaving this right in the middle. We're going to pass into space. We're going to overlap left and overlap right. Really get the wing backs involved because they play such a vital role in getting the goals and the assists in this team. We're going to focus down the left and the right hand side. A shorter passing directness matched with that wonderful higher tempo. Run at defence and on this occasion, no low crosses. I've opted for mixed crosses because it seemed to work really, really well. In transition, it's going to be nice and simple. Counter press and counter. This works really well across any tactic, to be honest with you. We're going to distribute quickly and we're going to play to anybody across the back line. And I actually left this completely blank. And lastly, a lot to change in this. It is going to be the high pressure line of engagement. We're going to go with a standard defensive line, not the higher on this occasion. We're going to max out the trigger press. We are going to prevent short goal distribution because we have got a striker and two shallow strikers. So we're going to be very high up the pitch and very aggressive. We're going to get stuck in. And of course, we're going to step up more to the attacking tactic. So this is going to be the perfect attacking tactic. If you boys still aren't getting goals with this system, you can switch to this for a more increased chance of getting a goal. You're going to be a little bit more defensively vulnerable, but if you're chasing the game, you need to take risks as we do know. The goalkeeper remains the same as does the entire back line. I will say that the ball playing defenders are now going to have the dribble more and tackle harder on the left and the right hand side, while the middle does remain exactly the same. The wing backs on the right and on the left both go on to attack on take more risks, cross more often, dribble more, run wides and tackle harder. Just to prove it, it's exactly Exactly the same for the left and the right hand side. These wing backs now are almost going to be acting as wingers. So make sure you've got very good wing backs to utilize and get the most out of this system. Then two Volantes come in, both on tackle harder and mark tighter. Bit more of a progressive DM who are going to link up the play, move up the field a little bit. And as I said, if you are chasing a game, you need to be prepared to take risks, which is exactly is what this role is going to do. The shallow strikers remain exactly the same, as does the advanced forward. So it's a little bit of an altered version, nothing too crazy different because, as I said, it worked really, really well anyway. But this just gets a little a little bit more at the wing backs and especially them two deeper midfield roles. Custom Tiki Taka attacking. Custom Tiki Taka attacking. Just to clarify that, we're going to leave it on standard in the middle. It will say fairly wide for you. We're going to pass into space. We're still going to overlap left and overlap right, obviously, while focusing down the left and the right hand side as well. The real big difference alongside of all this stuff, which I'm going to do quickly now, because obviously that is the same. We are now going to have be more expressive and run at defense on as a pair to really maximize the attacking element. Similar, but not the same. We're going to counter press we've got a counter and we are simply going to distribute quickly i'm not going to select a certain area because i want the keeper to go to the best option whether that's long or short it doesn't matter and lastly for the attacking variant of course out of possession we are going to maintain the high press line of engagement on this occasion we're going to roll with the higher defensive line we're going to max out the press of course this is going to be on we're going to get stuck in and we're going to step up more to the defensive tactic now this is a must needed one because if you are struggling to obviously defend you want to shut up shop this is exactly the tactic to do so the goalkeeper remains the same the ball playing defender on the right and the left is going to be on the default and the only sort of difference between the wide ones is we're still going to have that cover and option on the default so a complete default back line the wing backs are now going to be both on defend on sit narrower tackle harder and also mark tighter and it works really well because it almost forms a back seven which is almost impossible to break down as the dms come back in both on tackle harder and mark tighter and because we've got this at the back we can afford to still have a counter attack and presence a shadow striker on Rome on the right and the left and the unchanged advanced sword and because we've got this such brick wall at the back we can afford to still have three very attacking players which is good to see because at least we've still got some goal scoring threat custom tiki tacker on the positive custom tiki tacker on the positive just to clarify that we're going to pass into the space overlap left and overlap right while focusing down the left and the right hand side of the pitch it's got to change big time now as the tempo slightly lower the directness, slightly more direct. We're going to hit early crosses and we're going to run at defense. A quick, let me explain it very quickly. So basically, the idea behind this is low tempo, not too strenuous on the players, a bit more direct. So, you know, get the ball going long. And if the wing backs, they're not going to be as attacking, but if they do get into somewhat of a good area, get the ball in the mixer. Simple as that. At this point, we're trying to get a desperate goal. Just, you know, the odd goal on the counter attack, try and make them vulnerable. We're not expecting to score three, four goals a game like this. So, any way we can get it, We'll take it. In transition, we are going to go with roll the ball out. We're going to play to the full backs and the centre backs while countering and, of course, counter pressing. Lastly, definitely on the higher defensive line, we're going to keep the mid block line of engagement with that standard line. The trigger press is not going to be maxed out. It's going to be on more often, and we are going to have this selected as well. And that's going to give you boys three variants of the 3 4 2 1 masterclass. Like I said, I made it almost on accident, but hopefully, you boys have enjoyed the video anyway. Again, if you want to get it on console and, of course, on mobile, you can check the Patreon out in the description below, and you can get all my rebuild files and 
and check out the rebuild channel somewhere here if I remember to put it in. Definitely come over and say hello. It's been absolutely banging recently. We've got a very exciting Barcelona one coming out very shortly. So hopefully you boys have enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, keep the comments coming, and I'll see you in the next one.